this is my 40th year of living in the Sierra. I think most people that have never been here before, they just have no idea of the grandness. It's such a huge range that there was so much to explore. There was a lifetime to explore. Wondering what was over the next ridge, over the next peak. I mean, that's what drew me in. Started wondering, well, what's it like to wander off the trails? And learned that that that's where the secrets are. It's off the trail. And from that time on, I pretty much focused my attention on the trail. Being in the backcountry, more a mental space than it is a physical space. I can't think of any place that you can clear your mind like you can back here. If it doesn't happen here, it's not gonna happen anywhere else. A hundred years ago, the only way that you were gonna know what was over that ridge was to go over that ridge. So the element of discovery is huge. I don't want to know what's out there before I go out there. I want to find it on my own. So I had to figure out some way to get paid to be in the mountains. I've worked in the Sierra as a ski instructor, backcountry ski guide, hiking guide, snow surveyor, snow shoveler, maintenance man, and currently I'm working for the state looking for Sierra Nevada Red Fox. Any job that's come by my way, I, I don't think I've turned down too many. It takes a few days to leave all the 21st century behind. When you're just out here wandering around, it's like you don't have to be anywhere. You don't have to think anything. It gets pretty simple. I like having one pot, one spoon. And I like that simple life. The more time I spent out here, the more photography almost grew as a reason to be here. I was almost coming out here for photography. And what I found was that by confining the landscape to the rectangle, I was getting more intimate with the landscape. I was removing clutter from the whole scene and getting intimate with how things work in that rectangle, how the rock formations are in relationship to the trees, in relationship to the snow. And I've come to really appreciate that intimacy. It's pretty amazing how beautifully random the wilderness landscape is. Trying to see every little corner of the Sierra has kept me here. Exploring has kept me here. It's the whole reason I keep doing it. 